Whoa, memory. StatsAnnouncer.com Thank you so much uh, for your recollections of John Otto. Anything no UGR else? radio listeners today remembered Buffalo's dean of talk radio. John Otto always said he loved being called a curmudgeon. He joked, insisting his real talent was in answering the phone. I had a flair for answering the phone. I could say things like, uh, you're on, or, or, or I just had a way about me. I could say the appropriate thing for the, for the moment. Uh, would you turn your radio down or off? I could do that. The talk show host was famous for what his colleagues affectionately called autoisms. How many times have we said in this radio station, sure, Sure, good, but good of you to do, good of you to do, splendid. Otto's broadcast career spanned 47 years, the majority at WKBW and WGR. Dan Navrath feels he was a real companion to people in the nighttime. The people at WGR Radio, I think, helped keep him alive. I really, and, and I think they should be commended for that because he lived to do that show. So, Common Council President James Pitts was a frequent guest. With Otto's conservative philosophy, many wondered why they were such a dynamic duo. And I think in the final analysis, uh, both John and I found that we agreed uh, on more things than we disagreed, and he was just a wonderful person. Let me tell you something. Every time I listened to John Otto, as recently as last week, I learned something. Everyone we talked to today said John Otto loved what he did. He lived for his show. And because of his failing health, they're all convinced he lived as long as he did because of his work. Marie Price, News 4 at 5. All of Western New York is mourning the loss of a broadcast legend. WGR John Otto has died. Radio Dean of Buffalo Talk Radio passed this away this morning at their the age of 70. Of loss over the sudden death of 70-year-old talk show veteran John Otto. I have a hard time sleeping, and I put him on, and he's so relaxed. I will greatly miss them. John Otto began his broadcast career in Buffalo in 1952, 47 years ago. The majority of those years were spent at WGR. Otto was inducted into the Buffalo Broadcasting Hall of Fame in 1998. He frequently chose a little humor to describe his work. Well, I had a flair for answering the phone. I could say things like, uh, you're on, or, or, or I just had a way about me. I could say the appropriate thing for the, for the moment. Uh, would you turn your radio down or off? I could do that. Those who worked with Otto at WGR admired his skill, his personal one-on-one -on -one connection with all of his listeners and his longevity. Such an amazing accomplishment, and I think that you and I said, do you think we'll ever do something like this? We'll Otto's versatility is legendary. Here's an example. In the summer of 1993, he tried a little baseball play-by-play. It's a big hit. It's out there in, uh, I, I feel quite lost sight of it. I don't know where it went. That was a beauty. Shock, sorrow, despair, the whole thing. But uh, also remembering him fondly is one of the best talk shows in the business. I like to think that by doing his radio show, it actually helped him to live as long as he did. Buffalo Memories, staffannouncer.com.